Did you ever burn stuff when you were a kid? Were you ever a little pyromaniac? No. No. Eh? Well, I burned ants with a magnifying glass a couple times. So you never actually set fire to stuff? No, I wasn't one of those kids that liked to set fire to stuff. My friend Solomon, who was the kind of kid that would set fire to shit, we were in an empty lot walking to my house one day in the dead of winter. I turn around, and he's lighting a bunch of dead grass on fire. And I'm like, what are you doing, asshole? And he's like, uh, oh, my hands are cold. I was going to warm them up. And I'm like, shut up. And then the next thing I know, a wind comes by, and the entire vacant lot is on fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> like a wild what you do? fire. Just leg it. I took my jacket off, and I started beating the fire down, and the funny thing about that was it was a brand new fucking jacket <laughs> that my mom had just got for me and was like, take care of this jacket. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. And it was one of those, like, nylon puffy jackets, because this is the 80s, you know? <laughs> and so it just melted. Get a bullock in. Uh, well, I never told my mom, but uh, the jacket, I took it to school the next day, and I hung it up, like, on the hook at school, and I never brought it home again. <laughs> and then my mom would be like, where's your jacket? I'm like, oh, I left it at school. And she's like, bring it home. And I'm like, yeah, it wasn't cold enough. It's too hot on the bus. So I just left it at school. And she's like, bring your jacket home. And I'm like, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> and the last day of school, she's like, did you bring your jacket home? And I'm like, mom, it's May. Why would I bring my jacket home? And then I just never told her that the thing was just a burnt pile of shit. So did you have to be cold some days? I was cold for a winter because, <laughs> because of Solomon. But the important thing is I never got caught and I never got in trouble. <laughs>